where we are. This one, like I said, it was like $5. This one was $4. So I am planning on doing something like that. I don't know, but um, I have some idea. Of course, I'm gonna use this. I got my colors there. My Mod Podge and everything. Here's my project that I'm working on. I bought a big one and then the smaller one. So I had to clean it and I had to remove the sticker. And then what I did, it's I used this from the dollar store and I cleaned it completely, making sure that there's no glue or anything. I like these because you just push it down and then you just wipe it and wipe it. If you still see that there's something just go in and clean it until you make sure that you have nothing on it to make it easy. So this is from the dollar store. This is from dollar. No, this is from general dollar, if I'm not wrong. And what we're going to be using, it's this one to actually glue it. I love it because it's pretty strong. And it will make it stay. So... I got here my brush and this where I'm going to put the mosh posh and all the things that I'm going to do to put some color and I'll show you in a minute. And we're gonna let it dry. Okay, so there's the Mod Posh that I use. I use those glitters. I actually use this one, one of the white ones, and the black one. I also use something else, but I'm not even gonna show you. And this is how it came out. I put some like little stones in it, and it all just went down. To the bottom so you can feel it that it's all bent down here and it looks pretty bad i don't like it so i'm planning on removing it of course i guess i'm going to be using this one that also comes from the dollar tree i think it comes four in a package and so i'm going to try to remove it with this one if not i'm going to see if i have another one that will be a little stronger to remove it and once i get it i will show you what i did Oh, this actually took like five, six hours to dry. So this is from yesterday. I painted it and did everything and left it and went to sleep. So we'll see how it goes. So I cleaned it off. We don't have anything. It was hard. The spatula helped a lot. So we had to go in and scrape everything. We still got some right there. And I'm about to do my little mixture in here to redo it. Of course, this time, I guess I'm just going to use the lighter colors. I'm not going to use any of the other ones that I use because it will run off and it makes a mess and it doesn't look good. 
So this is how it looks and we will be starting. So it's starting to dry and I did not like how it looks. So I decided to put some color in it. Hopefully it'll make it look better. And this is from Amazon. Look at how beautiful. This is gorgeous. So I put them side to side so when it starts drying we can kind of see how it's looking and if it's what I like. So we will be back in a little while. So as you can see it looks way better on the one that I the new one that I've just used. So I'm gonna be retouching that one because basically it has a little bit of glitter but it's not how I want it. And this is just one hand, so we need two hands and it will look way better. So we'll give it 20 minutes and then we'll start working on it a little more. So it's pretty see-through as you can see, and I don't like it how it looks. So I have decided that I'm going for the third one. So Mod Podge in my little container and then my glitter that I actually got from Amazon. So you pour enough in there and you can see You mix it in pretty well. I know it looks more white right now, but it'll start green gray like it is on the container. And make sure that you let it dry. If you're gonna pour more, just let it dry and you put more and more until you get it however you want it. And make sure you distribute it pretty good because otherwise you're going to have big cloths and it's going to be noticeable of anything that you leave. All the extra on the top of the rim, just clean it with your finger. We don't need that.
how clean and whistled it's almost dry I did two actually so I had to go through it twice to paint it you can still see some spots but it's looking really nice I like how it shines and everything and this product is actually from Amazon and I love the color so this is how it's looking I might give it a, set, a third pass if I see that it's very see-through since it's not completely dry I'm just gonna wait and see how it's looking but that was the second one and it might need a third one so we're gonna let it dry make sure that whatever you have extra to wash it out first because once it dries it's really hard to get rid of it and make sure you wash it pretty well because this will not come off once it dries so make sure and this should be removed with a piece of paper, whatever you want. Don't throw it away on the sink because it will get stuck there. So make sure you grab a piece of paper, napkin, clean it off, and then wash it. And we'll see you here in about two, three hours. So we had to do it three times. And as you can see, it's still a little see-through through it. But I'm going to leave it like that. From the outside, it's pretty nice and shiny. So now to seal it, we're actually going to use Mod Posh. This one right here. But this one is saved for actually if you're going to throw it into the dishwasher. So this is the one that I'm using. This is the one that I was using for all the glitter. And then we'll finish it up spraying this that this will give you a high shine. So once we're all done with that, then we'll proceed what we're doing with the outside. Okay, so it has dried and everything. So we're basically done. And now what we're gonna do is spray. And this one is actually from the dollar store. I haven't used it, but they were saying it was pretty good. But I am actually going for this one, but this one's gonna give it a lot of shine. So I have decided to use this one. This one you can pick it up at Walmart, Amazon, it runs about $8, but they say it's worth it. This is the first time I'm using it. So basically what I'm going to do is just let it dry and we will see the end result in a little while. From the outside to it, it looks better. So we're just gonna leave it there and we'll be up back about three hours.
This is a project that it takes a long time. So we'll be back. So it's been sitting for hours. And as you can see, it's very shiny now. And it's looking very different. The texture is easier to touch, it's soft, and it makes it feel really good. So it gave it a lot of shine. And so it might not be dry completely, but we're gonna start working with it. And we're gonna use this strip to put a little boundary like all around it, probably two strips, and then probably just two strips where we're actually going to attach it to this. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually probably going to put it to the side like that. So it's not going to be square square off. I'm going to put it a little bit to the side. So I'm going to have to clean all this before I work on it and make sure there's nothing because we're going to put this strip. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm using only two, as you can see, and this is what I do. And then I pull it from one of the corners out, if I can get it out. Okay, maybe it's not so easy like I thought. Well, we gotta get it out. Thought it would be easier than what I, yeah, but it is. So we're gonna take it all around. We're not gonna go all the way to the top because it's gonna actually sit on that side. So hopefully this strip is a little easy or to pull out. Peel, peel off. Okay, it's not so easy like I thought. I think this is going to help.
there it is. The corners had a little problem right there. So I didn't get it like super good on the corners. But it's done. Just gonna start cleaning up the base and everything so I can use my glue. Two seconds so we can dry. And this is what I use. And now we're going to glue it with this. And this is how we want to set it. And so we're just going to leave it and let it dry. So I am going to set it. I'm afraid that it's... Yeah, I'm just going to leave it because it might not be completely dry. So we're going to leave it overnight. And then we'll see... Finally, end result. This is how it looks. Really nice. I'm very satisfied with the whole result. So hopefully you like it. We did take a long time doing this because you would have to do it and just wait for it to dry and everything. But the end result, I am very satisfied. Well, thank you very much for being my channel. Hopefully you like it. And we will see you here next week. With love and care, Gladys.